players that, that you've got there. You didn't have Joe first time around, you're coming back. Joe Hart is, is now your goalkeeper. Um, how pleased were you at that and, and how confident were you that Joe would be that rock that he's turned out to be? Well, he's been absolutely brilliant signing for, for Celtic. Obviously, I haven't been here before and had Craig, who he done brilliant in, in my time here as well. Um, coming back to to play for a big club, you, you have your goalkeeper has to have personality and and he needs to have all of these mental qualities as well as being a really good goalkeeper. So, um, so yeah, so seeing Joe and working against him and knowing people who know him, and I knew what a good man he was. And I met with Cal in the summer and told me how brilliant he'd been for the squad and how he'd helped him and, and helped lead the team. So, uh, so I was really looking forward to 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 working with Joe and. Um, and I think the, the biggest compliment I can give him from when I came in and seen him first train and play, Joe's now got 37 now, but he plays every game like it's the first time anyone has, has going to see him play. Mm. And for someone who's gone through everything and played 75 odd times for England and having the career that he's had, to still have that hunger and sacrifice and commitment is, is absolutely frightening. <laughs> so it's been a real joy to, to work with him and um, and like I said, because it's a, it's a young group of players that are understanding and are playing for, for a big club, some of them. So to have Callum, some of the other guys, Joe, it's absolutely amazing to, uh, uh, as I said, for, for him to be involved in that sort of leadership group. Really. In this leadership group, we're, we're, we've been hearing about it from the guys. How, how good is it for you as a manager to, to know that, that the dressing room area is, is covered as far as the leadership can, can, is concerned and that you can kind of take a bit of a backward step when it comes to that kind of dynamic in there? Well, it's very important. I think that in my first time here, it was that. And coming back, the big part of obviously coming back was, well, it was Callum and knowing that he'd been through that cycle and obviously coming in and seeing how he, he deals with it all as well. It's, it's, it's a great source of comfort for me because you know the changing rooms, the changing room, they 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 get on really well. They're supporting it, it's managed well, and uh, and thankfully we've got a really really good group that do that. I believe these guys. I'm going to let the the audience into to a bit of a secret because Joe, you and I had a conversation about a week ago just to prepare for this and for me to just make sure I had my facts right about about your career. And when I asked you. Um, you were talking about how, how special Celtic is, and it's something that we hear from a lot of players who come here. And I asked you, what is it about Celtic that makes it so special? What is it about the supporters, about the club that makes it so special? And I was kind of expecting you to say something along the lines of, oh, Celtic Park, 60,000 people, and a, a European night under the lights, absolutely incredible. But you said two words that were the furthest thing from my mind, two words that I would never have expected to come out of your mouth. Do you remember the two words you said? I said, Libby away. That you did. <laughs> you said, Libby away. So, perhaps you can explain to the hundreds of people in here why Libby away, this is it.